हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन इन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम समीन शेख वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट के वी एन नाइक कॉलेज नासिक इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव फोकस ऑन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव कंपाउंड बाय यूजिंग ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव एजेंट ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव कैदा रिस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल फोकस ऑन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव कंपाउंड बाय यूजिंग optically active reactant means chiral reactant we know that if reactant is optically active then formation of product is also optically active because the reaction takes place through diastereomeric phase let us discuss the one by one reaction in this reactant only one chiral carbon is present then first o is protected then lithium aluminum hydride is used for reduction of the ester group to form the primary alcohol primary alcohol os attack on the ts to use ots then the protection and base abstract the proton from this os therefore this o minus attack on the ots carbon to use beta epoxide in the next reaction the first is to react with ts cl to form the ots then reduction of ester by lithium aluminum hydride to use al primary alcohol then base abstract the proton from os to become o minus and this o minus attack on the chiral carbon from the back side to use alpha epoxide it is optically active product because reactant is optically active in this reactant only one chiral carbon is present first os is react with ts cl to use ots then ester group is reduced by lithium aluminum hydride and nas abstract the proton from the os and this os become o minus attack on bn to use obn now organo copper compound actually nucleophile it is attack on the chiral carbon from the back side and the protection can be done by using bus reagent to use optically active product because the reactant is chiral now in this reaction ns attack on the carbonyl carbon then hcl molecule is removed then formation of this intermediate react with lda lda acts as a base to abstract the proton at alpha position of the carbonyl groups to become inorate ion in this inorate ion due to isopropyl group present at the bottom side the bottom side is more shielded hence the nucleophile approach from the top side become the uh, become such a like product at the front side it is optically active in this reactant only one chiral carbon is present it is react with lewis acid to form the compress with oxygen therefore this carbon become electron depletion the perceptin of the double bond and hydrogen through six member cell like transition state and to use product like this in this product the one three position used cis geometry and one two position used trans geometry now what is mean of chiral pool it is a very simple it is a starting compound it is optically active it is obtained from naturally generally sugar molecules amino acid molecules is it obtained from the nature it is used as a reactant and to con it is and to convert into product therefore such a amino acid and sugar molecule call as chiral pool let us discuss the reaction one by one now in this reaction first diaphoretization takes place to form the n2 plus then carboxylic acid acts as a ngp to attack on the carbon n2 is removed then s2 molecule attack on the lactone ring and to form the product product is optically active because it is obtained from the amino acid which is called as chiral pool in second reaction the alpha hydroxy chiral alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid that is acts as a chiral pool first OS is protected by using tetrahydropyrene to use intermediate then this acid is react with alcohol in presence of s plus to form the ester ester is reduced by lithium aluminum hydride 
to gives primary alcohol this primary alcohol os attack on the ts to gives ots then the protection can be done by using acid and os os base abstract the proton from os this will become o minus o minus attack on the ots carbon to gives beta epoxide then giving the reagent attack on the epoxide from less substituted position and to use optically active product in this reaction the amino acid first react with son2 is no2 that the diatomic reaction is take place to form n2 plus then acid attack on the carbon n2 is removed to use five member lactone ring then acid react with socl2 to give cocl and it react with s2 pd bso4 that is a norzeman reaction to form the aldehyde this aldehyde react with withing reagent but this withing reagent is a unstable the unstable gives less stable product that is a cis alkene the product is optically active because it is obtained from the chiral pool and chiral pool is optically active active use active now what is mean of chiral auxiliary generally it is an enantiomeric cre pure compound usually derived from simple natural product like amino acid it is attached to the starting material during the reaction and carry out that to a selective reaction we know that that to a selective reaction use only one enantiomer after obtain the required enantio mass then such a chiral auxiliary removed by hydrolysis and leaving the product of the reaction as a single enantio mass the base chiral auxiliary can be recycled can be recovered only small amount means stoichiometric quantity are needed there is no waste of the chiral auxiliary during in the reaction now let us focus on this reaction in this reaction amino acid react with me2s bs3 to form alcohol then os and ns2 attack on the carbonyl carbon obtain the five member ring and this compound is called as a chiral auxiliary because it is obtained from the chiral pool then second chiral auxiliary obtained from this reaction OS and NS2 attack on the carbonyl carbon to form the five member rings. These two chiral auxiliary are more useful for the this other reaction. We know that this other reaction means dienophile attack. Sorry, dienophile react with diene to form the six member ring. It is it is good racemic product because reactant reagent is optically inactive. inactive use inactive product and active use active product but how to obtain the optically active product in the this other reaction this can be done by using chiral auxiliary these two chiral auxiliary are used for such a purpose let us discuss the one by one in this reaction the first this chiral auxiliary attack on the reactant carbonyl carbon series remove to form the optically active product then this dienophile react with diene to gives only one enantiomer because at the bottom side is silde therefore substitute one join at the above carbon not the below carbon and lyobn is used to recover the chiral auxiliary this obn attack on the carbonyl carbon and chiral auxiliary is recovered in this reaction the second enantiomer is not obtained only one enantiomer is obtained now in second reaction then first ns acts as a base abstract the proton from ns then for this n minus attack on carbonyl carbon series remove to form the active product that is called single enantiomer then this single enantiomer dienophile react with diene to use only one product not the racemic form because at the front side the steric epoxy is present therefore 
therefore reaction approach from the below side hence substitute pair the below carbon not the above carbon now LiOBN again OBN attack on the carbonyl carbon and then recover the chiral auxiliary now friends in the next video I will complete the this topic thank you so much and take care